Do you guys remember the old days of side hustling? Go out on a weekend, maybe even a Sunday? Oh look, it's Sunday. And you don't have $6,000 walk behind mowers or $4,000 zero turns to sit on or an $8,000 stander to stand on. All you got's a push type mower. Hopefully a decent power head with a split shaft because you can't really afford to buy a bunch of power heads. So you, you buy a combi unit, kind of like a steel or an Echo or the Husqvarna, something like that handheld blower because you don't quite have $700 laying around for a really badass backpack so you just get yourself a handheld or maybe you just got equipment in the shed and the neighbor says hey you know I can't do my yard I'm working too much overtime how much he's like hmm I don't know 30 bucks and you grab your equipment and you give him a really good deal remember those days I do we kind of got away from that for a little while so I'm gonna close out this season here with some push mowing with the combi with just a handheld. Let the trailer sit until I really need it. So today, if you look, we're sporting a Honda, the HRX 217, y'all's favorite push type mower. We got the combi steel KM90, the straight edger attachment with the straight weed eater attachment. We got the BG55, is that what it's called? BG50, handheld blower, I don't know, little, little fella, like $140. We got a rake and a garbage can, and we're gonna go cut a yard that the customer called me yesterday and said it needs attention, and I was shocked because of the drought that we're in, and then it rained all day yesterday, ironically. So, we're gonna put the Honda to work. We're gonna edge it with the straight shaft edger attached to the KM90 power head. We'll weed eat it with the weed eater attachment and we'll blow it off with the BG50 steel handheld, low cost, but powerful blower. So let's get to it. Okay, so if you're not familiar with my gear, um, I have the KM90R split shaft like we talked about, so you take it apart right here with the straight edger attachment, the BG50 handheld blower, and the straight shaft weed eater attachment for the steel that fits right in, and I put a fresh cartridge of line on it this morning. So we're going to cut, edge, trim, and weed eat my customer. Got a decent sized backyard so using the Honda is not a challenge but um, it's you know it's not a teeny teeny post stamp postage stamp size backyard so I mean it makes it worth it um, he gets a good price we're gonna cut edge and trim it and uh, bag it where we need to this time of the year we got pine needles falling uh, so I got the bag attachment and I got the can so we can bag it as we as uh, as we go. I'm gonna link up here to my other channel, Dan's Vlog 912. Uh, that's the video of my son's karate test yesterday from white belt to orange belt. Uh, so really cool. Did some editing to make sure it was short. It was like an hour long for the whole class to test and everything. Um, and I edited it down to like a nine or 10 minute video um, to get the good parts. And it's a really cool black belt uh, demonstration from a 15 year old girl breaking boards, jumping kicks and stuff. So really cool if you got kids that are interested in karate and stuff, maybe they can relate to my son and check that out. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started.
So you get done edging and you just separate your tool, <laughs> if you can. and go back to work. So you're like, what's the deal, Dan? You just edged the damn thing with the blade. What is it, suck butt that you have to go back over it with the weed eater? No. Edging with the blade gets down deep so you get the runners. Coming back and edging with the weed eater gives it that nice, clean separation. Nice and clean, and you didn't hear me beat the shit out of the fence, did you? Edge it, come back and weed eat it.
Okay, now a couple things can happen here. I can either like blow stuff in, knowing that I have the bag on my Honda that I can just clean it up with quickly, um, or I can rake some stuff up, or I can just jump right on mowing. Um, that flower bed right there, it's not a flower bed, there's no flowers in it, but that tree right there in the middle, and I spent a little extra time with the weed eater in the inside. What I was doing was I was kicking out the leaves. So now I can come with my Honda and at, uh, we're going to cut this nice and low, two and a half inches, um, maybe two and three quarter inches. We're going to go, we're going to go two and a half in the front and no, two and a half in the back and three in the front. So it vacuums, the air comes in, sucks in and goes into the bag and then blows air out the bag, but not the leaves and dirt, of course. Um, so we'll be at two and a half in the back and three in the front. So that puts it at a two and three quarter inch cut. And we're just going to bag it up and we'll just fill up the can as we need to, but it ain't going to be much.
I'll show you guys. Not my ass. Sorry about that. Somebody had asked me about the bag falling off the mower. What happens where the hooks to the bag go right here and right here, you have to clean those off. All right? So clean those off. And that's where the bag hooks. Right here. And right here. If you don't clean that off, then the bag's kind of floating on that dirt and grass and stuff that's built up. And if you hit a bump, it'll just pop the bag right off. Cool. And this is what we've taken off the customer's yard in clippings and pine needles. Good stuff. Like almost 90 pounds, this damn thing. It ain't light. All we gotta do now is blow off. And with that, like I said, we'll use the BG-50. I want to show you guys one more little trick in your side hustle endeavor and that's working with these rocks these landscape rocks that they put in you might have a question about how how do you clean up around it it's really windy guys so if there's wind noise on the mic I am sorry I do have the windsock on it imagine if I didn't stuff like that what I do I edge it with the weed eater. So put a nice edge on it with the weed eater. And then you won't have the rocks filling up with grass. It won't look so bad. But then let's take a look at this little garden where if I mess up her plants, she'll castrate me. So we edge the rocks nice. We edge around those rocks nice. And you got that nice border of grass and pine straw. And then you got the fence clean and I don't think you guys heard the, the whip touch the fence one time. And that's pretty important because these people probably paid $3,000 for this fence next door and the last thing you want is for that neighbor to come knocking on your customer's door demanding a new fence. So, gotta take it easy and kinda go slow. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today and hooking up another little side hustle lawn with the uh, Honda. I mean, I'm barely breaking a sweat, it's 12. 36 we've probably been here an hour because of the camera maybe um, Not bad $40 yard done deal Don't forget Tuesday night live this Tuesday um, We'll have a nice little class nice little lesson discuss something uh, I don't want to say what that's going to be because it's subject to change at my will I will uh, catch you guys definitely on the next one Tell me about the whistle